G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. Forward fly mass attack. Here's one of my strongest hives and for whatever reason, which I'm slowly learning the habit of, Foreign flies have decided to mass attack this strong hive. And I'm starting to develop a picture of how they do it. Now as you can see here, and hopefully you'll see it clear enough, they're actually just targeting the strong hive. They're trying to muscle their way in, and many will muscle their way in. They have decided that this hive is to get under attack. Now. You can rely on the bees to defend to a certain extent, but forage flies are well known for targeting exceptionally strong hives and basically ganging up and infecting them. Now you can see this hive is already struggling because what's happened, as I zoom closer, you should be able to see if I get my fingers right, those white dots are eggs that are being removed. In other words, the flies have got in laid eggs and the bees are cleaning out the hive of the eggs. You can see them there, I'm pretty certain. I hope my shaky hand's not too bad. But these flies have targeted this and what they do is two things. Around the outside of the hive, and I don't know if you can see them because it's very faint, the males gather to attract females, they, sent a, they uh, set up a scenting area, a mating area, and it attracts more males, more females. They copulate together, and then you saw earlier, they go in and try to take over the hive. They don't care if many get killed. They work on sheer mass of numbers to take over a hive. And at the moment, this hive has been scented up as well by the ones that get in here or at the entrance are also scenting up saying, this is the hive. So what you've got is both an area out here that's a mass mating area and an area here, and there's another one coming in. The males, they copulate together and then the male guides the female to the nest to the entrance where they're going. And you can see one here, scooting around the outside of the hive. This hive is well and truly targeted and they are trying to kill the hive. And there's just, there's there's one being deposited there now. You can see a female there trying to be deposited. There's another one coming in behind me. There it goes, you just saw her being deposited into the nest. And it looks like she's made it in. She'll lay eggs as well. And, the fly, and at the moment, this nest is going to be struggling. There's another one coming in in a minute. He's flying around as well. So what are we going to do about this? Well, I've developed a method of controlling these flies. And I'll post that later. But for this hive at the moment, it's under full-blown attack. It needs help. As you can see here, another one just dropped off. There it is. She's, all, she's away as well and into the nest chased out. You can see this is just going to go on all day and these poor bastards need a little bit of help. You can see dead bees being removed. The flies set up a toxin inside the hive to help kill the bees inside and if you look around here, look at all the dead bees on here that have been killed by the toxins the flies secrete. Now I've done videos previously on this, so what do we do to help the poor little bastards? Well, simple. Let's block up the entrance and give them time to fight off this attack. I have no idea how long this is going, but I'm going to stop it dead. What have I got here? A bit of mesh. I'm just going to shove that in the hole. Hang on a sec. If I can get it in, ah, squeeze him in, there we go. Now, I've squeezed that in there like that. That's just to protect the hive until these flies, and there's bloody gaggles of them. 
they're out the back here as well so it's important to keep an eye on forehead flies all I've got to do is keep this hive sealed up and eventually the bees inside will get on top of these mongrels I shouldn't need a trap yet but maybe but you've seen my videos look them up on foreign fly traps if this gets too bad you may be wondering what the management practice is on oh, for foreign flies as you can see there's not many um, not many um, foragers just heaps of bloody flies just heaps of them I'm just gonna leave that closed for the day and looks like I'll have to set up a trap because they're not going to go away so follow the videos as I've done before and you'll see but that gives you an idea just how many bloody flies are around there's just bloody thousands of them